live from the Newsmax studio in New York City, here is Steve Malzberg. We have never invested as much in public education as we should have because we've always had kind of a private notion of children. Your kid is yours and totally your responsibility. We haven't had a very collective notion of these are our children. So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. Once it's everybody's responsibility and not just the households, then we start making better investments. All right, folks, that's a, that infamous statement made by Melissa Harris Perry uh, some time ago on MSNBC during one of the promos for her show. Joining us now is Dr. Charles Murray, political scientist, New York Times bestselling author, and American Enterprise Institute scholar. Doctor, welcome aboard, sir. Hi, Steve. Thanks for coming on. Okay, um, you know, your, your piece in, in the Wall Street Journal, The Problem uh, Isn't Liberals, it's progressives and this is so very important how often have we heard from the media and the left that uh, Ronald Reagan wouldn't be welcomed in today's Republican Party which is uh, I believe a bunch of nonsense uh, but I know for sure at least I believe for sure that JFK wouldn't want to be in today's Democratic Party because he wouldn't recognize it as, as, as a Democratic Party he wouldn't recognize many of the so-called liberals and you draw a distinction between liberals and progressives yeah, it's it's an ironic thing, Steve, because uh, the the left pick up the picked up the word progressive recently because liberal got them such bad repute in the 1970s and 80s. They didn't want to be called liberals, so they started calling themselves progressives because that sounded better. Here's the problem: the actual progressive tradition, which goes back to the beginning of the 20th century, uh, was one which said you wanted experts running the economy and the country, you wanted a strong uh, figure in the presidency. The Constitution was outmoded. The collective is more important than the individual. So when I call, a, when I say that uh, the problem now is progressives, I am using the word progressive from its true intellectual tradition. And you're, and and you're talking about Woodrow Wilson. <laughs> yeah, Woodrow Wilson, you can get direct quotes saying just the things I just repeat, repeat, repeated about progressivism. And the woman who was talking about children belonging to the community, that's textbook. Yeah, it is textbook. It's absolute textbook. And uh, I think uh, if the media do cares to investigate some of Hillary Clinton's uh, earlier writings and opinions on children, um, uh, you know, it takes a village. Uh, okay. I think they'll find that she's very progressive and uh, in a lot of ways in line with Melissa Harris Perry. So talk about, I mean, I, I, I am amazed, and, I, and I, I was talking about this with uh, someone whose name you would know immediately, we would all know immediately, uh, about progressives and and how dangerous progressives are and and the history of progressives and and you know going back to Woodrow Wilson and how Americans young Americans they first of all they never heard of Woodrow Wilson but yeah. but to think that what he stood for and how he ran his administration and what the country was like then and now you have the, many on the left adopting that name that term to describe themselves I think it's very telling yeah and and what I want to do Steve, is to break down some of the hostility between the right and the moderate left. Because um, there is a lot of hostility, and there sort of tends to be, if we look at the world black and white, you're on the right or the left, and you're evil if you're on the wrong side. You know, I don't have to agree with moderate Democrats who uh, think we ought to spend more on welfare or something. I don't have to agree with them. But when you have ones who also believe in free speech, who don't want to keep commencement speakers from coming because they're conservatives, who, uh, who believe very strongly in the American heritage and are openly, enthusiastically patriotic in the 4th of July, I want some way to talk about those people as being different from the progressives. And so that's why I said, let's use the word liberal for them and let's use it in a positive sense because they're the good guys on the left. Right. We've got bad guys, real bad guys we've got to worry Would about. Would you describe uh, President Obama as more in line with, uh, I mean, there are other ter there's other political terms that he's been accused of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, being associated with and, you know, socialist and worse. But when it comes to liberal versus progressive, I mean, I would, I, I would have to say he's certainly in more in line with the, the progressive philosophy than Absolutely. the liberal you just described as someone who we could deal with, no? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I have been dismayed because he ran. Uh, he said all the right things uh, that sounded maybe made him sound like uh, a liberal in the good sense that I'm using the term. He is, as far as I'm concerned, a hardcore progressive. 
and he's he's one of the worst kind in the following sense, Steve. Uh, there's a certain group on the left that say, oh, we're not ideological. Uh, we're just smart. And so we see what the truth is, and uh, we just go, you know, where the data and where the evidence takes us. That is classic progressive attitude. Experts who understand the world, they're right, and everybody else needs to be re-educated. Right, and you and you described it. You had it head on earlier, and you in your column as well when you talked about you know the individual uh, goes bye bye basically. It's all for the good of the state, um, and and that's so so scary and so dangerous. And you know we talk about the Saul Alinsky's of the world and how Obama is a disciple of Saul Alinsky. Uh, it was actually Hillary Clinton who was offered a job by Saul Linsky. Not too many people put the two of them together, but they had a, 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 a relationship, a direct relationship, where Obama and Alinsky did not. You know what I'd like to know, Steve, and, and I have no way of knowing it, is the extent to which Hillary Clinton's views have evolved over the years. Uh, I would say that, and I was not a fan of Bill Clinton when he was in office, uh, for a lot of personal reasons, the way he conducted himself. But in terms of his policies, he's the kind of liberal that I can easily live with. Uh, but she, I was always nervous about her then. Has she evolved? I don't know. Well, you know, it, it, in comparison to Barack Obama, I mean, Bill Clinton was a conservative. I mean, that, you know, and, and, and the willingness to work with people, the relationship to, he forged yeah. with people, it, 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 this is unprecedented when you have a president on the deficit ceiling and, and, the, and the, uh, uh, the, um, the, the debt ceiling and the deficit saying, I will not negotiate, period, close down the government, default on the debt, do what you will, I'm done. That's never happened before. Yeah, I think actually the word for Barack Obama in a lot of ways is incompetent. I mean, if you are a president, one of the basic job skills is working with the other side. You talked about Bill Clinton could do it. Ronald Reagan certainly could do yep. it. Uh, Lyndon Johnson could do it. All of these people were operating in a political tradition that I recognize. So they are on the other side of the political fence, but they... They're operating on the same system that I'm operating in. Right. This is. But this President is Obama, I have no sense that he's operating in the same system. And I don't think he wants to. I don't. I, th I don't know if. It, I mean, there's plenty of incompetence. Don't get me wrong on various uh, parts of the uh, the uh, terms that he's been in office. But I think uh, a lot of it is uh, he doesn't want to operate as others have in the past. Hey, listen, doctor, please come back. Fascinating. And everybody, check out the column, The Problems, uh, Not Liberals, It's Progressives at the Wall Street Journal. We'll speak to you soon. We'll be back with more of The Steve Malsberg Show. Don't go away.